Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedrunning video or welcome to the channel if you are new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be building in the world of Oasis Springs, which is one of the biggest game worlds. And I'm going to be building an Oasis Springs Space and Science Museum. So I feel like it's been a little bit of an overdue build from me to one, sit down and build a museum. Because would you believe this is my first ever museum that I've ever built. I've never built a museum before. I know that I've definitely attempted to build a museum before in the past, but they've always just been scrapped because I just... I have a really hard time building community lots, but two, to also just build a community lot because I don't often tend to build them in the game. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very much aware I am someone that doesn't tend to build that many community lot venues, but I just, I really struggle when it comes around to building these types of lots in the game. I just, I have a bit of a hard time. But this week, I thought I'd give myself a little bit of a challenge and try and build a space and science museum which all members of the family could come and visit. To be honest, I kind of want to say that it was partly inspired by next week, which sounds bizarre because we're not even there yet, but it's inspired by next week because next week we're getting a new EP for The Sims 4, as I'm sure everyone and their dog is aware. We're getting The Sims 4 growing together which is basically The Sims 4 Generations next week. And I want you to build something in kind of preparation for that. And also, if I'm being completely honest with you, and I don't know if this is going to... I don't know how well I'm going to be able to explain this, but I feel like I couldn't build a family home this week because we've got a basically family pack coming out next week and I didn't want to build a house without the new pack. You know how a lot of us are kind of like putting off our personal gameplay, either waiting for the infant update or we're waiting for the Generations EP. It's a kind of like a similar kind of thing. Like I didn't want to do a family home when we've got a family pack coming out next week. And so I thought it'd be a good idea to build a community lot. That way next week when we actually finally get our hands on the pack, which I'm actually so excited. Like, can we just talk about for the fact that we're literally getting growing together next week. I have been counting down the literal days almost to the hours, to be honest with you, until we get this new EP, because I've just been so excited to get my hands on this new EP and just finally get one infants, which is coming in an update, but two, just actual in-depth family gameplay. I, I'm honestly combust with excitement, but I thought it'd be a good idea this week to build a community lot, because then next week when the new EP comes out, I'm not gonna look back on this build and be like, ah, you should have waited for this pack because you've got this item or that item, if you get what I mean, and so, yeah, I ended up building a little space and science museum. I'm really proud of the way this one turned out, so I hope you guys like it. But getting on and actually talking more about the build itself. So the concept to build a space and science museum was actually a suggestion that I got probably around about a year ago. I'm not joking, but this is the thing. I don't build community lots because they're just so intimidating to me. And so I just haven't been able to actually build one yet but this was a suggestion that i got from a friend of mine to build a space and science museum because it really does make sense doesn't it to have like a a sciencey a bit of a weird space in the world of oasis springs it just it just it goes nicely in my head because you've got to think about it with the sims 4 your sims can travel to space they can marry an alien if they want to they can have alien babies they can travel to the world of six am they can do all of the different like sciencey bits and bobs and normally whenever i get my sims to be scientists i also get them to be scientists and live in the world of oasis springs because this world is a little bit i don't want to say bizarre because it is it is a normal world but desert and space it just makes sense i mean the science labs look like they're meant to be in oasis springs if you're familiar with the science labs that we got from the get to work expansion pack and so to actually build a space and science museum what better place to build it than this world but i knew coming on in coming on, <laughs> I, knew, I knew coming into this build that I wanted it to be not just a museum, because let's all be real here, museums in The Sims 4, they're boring, like honestly, tell me something that you can do that your Sims couldn't do at home, the thing is whenever I get my Sims to travel to the museum, which granted isn't really a, an occurring thing in my game because I, I really don't like museums, but whenever I get my Sims to travel to a museum, I'll travel through the loading screen, I'll arrive, my Sim will go and look at a painting, view it a few times, and then they just go home, like, what else is there to do in a museum? They're just so boring. And so I knew coming into this build, I wanted it to be a part museum, but then also part activity center. Because I wanted to give both you and your Sims an actual reason to come here that 
is a little bit i don't want to say like a, a a novelty but a little bit more special because all the paintings that you can find in all the museums in the game they're not like special paintings that can only be in a museum your sims can literally just buy them and just place them down into their front room so i wanted it to be something which it is a museum like there is still a ton of different paintings and sculptures and you know all them different bits and bobs that relate to museums but then there is also activities that are going to be in the build that you wouldn't have in majority of your sims houses i'm saying majority because i don't know what you get up to in your personal gameplay but one of the main things that i wanted to include into this build was a rocket ship so you can see that i've already placed the rocket ship into the build it's kind of like on the the back right hand side of the build it's in this kind of like glass tower and funny enough you wouldn't believe it your sims can still use that and they can still fly the rocket ship through the ceiling. How the physics work, I don't know, but I'm not complaining because it's another activity for your sense of doing this build. There also ends up being like a, a robotic station in this build, which I don't think I've ever placed down into a single build before. I don't think anyway, but you know the Discover University expansion pack, which in university sims can like make robots. There's one of them in this build because it kind of relates to science. There is also an invention maker. I think that's what it's called anyway. If you're familiar with the get to work expansion pack and you're familiar with a scientist career, there's basically like this object in the science labs and your sims can go there and they can make all these different devices. It's where they make the freeze ray, the very famous freeze ray. It's also where they make the cloning machine. It's also where they make just basically anything that your sims can do in terms of like sciency they can make on this object but normally it's tied to the science lab it's in this build there is also chemistry labs there is also microscopes there is just a ton basically of bits and bobs for your sims to do in this build but on top of that i also knew coming into it that i wanted to basically place down every single element every single metal and crystal into this build somewhere because it makes sense we are building a museum and i wanted to showcase that in some kind of way and so the way i ended up showcasing them is i dotted them about in like the interior of the build but then i also made kind of like a little a little gift shop i would say it's probably my favorite room in the build but to be honest i am so proud of every single centimeter of this build that i probably can't pick a favorite space but in there think of every single collection in the game that would make sense in terms of science, like metals, crystals, elements. It's dotted in there somewhere. There's fossils. There's literal aliens <laughs> in this build as well. I also made like a little alien room. So your sims will go in there and there'll be all these different like get to work shrubs and roots that kind of like glow and they're all these weird fancy colours. There is also these kind of like, I don't know what they're called, but they're from get to work and you're meant to be able to put like aliens in them. But I decided to put some robots in them to make it look like they're robots that are maybe from like outer space or something. There is also a art room in this build. I was trying to think off the top of my head what is in this build. There is also an art room. So your sims can come here and they can use the easel. There is a woodworking table. Also, I made it so it's family friendly, not in the sense of it's PG family friendly, which I mean it is but it's family friendly in the sense of you can bring your sims here with the whole entire family toddlers included and there is something for them to do in this build that ends up being kind of like a little playroom upstairs ends up having a teddy bear in there a doll's house a little science lab thing for kids drawing table there is just a ton in this build and i'm really happy with the end result and yeah i'm really really proud of this one so i really hope you like it but moving on and actually getting back to talking about the build you can see that I've already done the whole entire exterior. I'm already now moving on into the interior and I've started off by doing kind of like this little front desk area. Quickly though, talking about the exterior, that ends up being honestly not too much. I just tried my best to try and make it feel like it was a community lot and it was like a nice little entrance into the science lab. So I end up placing down this astronaut sculpture. It's from the Sims 4 base game. It is one of the unlockable things. I think your Sims get it when they're in the astronaut career. I think it's quite high up, but it's basically like this little tiny sculpture. I sized it up and it's kind of like a, a monument outside of this build. There also ends up being some fountains. Also put like a nice little bike rack because I was thinking when I was building this of a scenario of maybe you've got a kid in your game and the kid Kid that you're playing with absolutely love science maybe every single like saturday or sunday they want to i was about to say drive <laughs> they want to ride their little bike to the museum there's kind of like a little bike rack outside i did the best that i could with the exterior it really took me 
no time whatsoever because with a community lot I didn't want to over landscape it so I did quite quite minimal landscaping but on the interior you can see that I'm doing kind of like an elements wall right now I, honestly I am so proud of this idea <laughs> I basically wanted to showcase all the different elements that we've got in the game but the thing is when you normally pull them out of the menu they're tiny they're also really hard to come by I, maybe it's just me but I have such a hard time in my game trying to find these elements because if you're not familiar with the elements collection in the game it's not something where you can just go and find an element it's more so you find metals and you find crystals and then you can send them off to the council and the council will come back and give you elements from the certain metals or crystals that you've extracted it's actually really fun for gameplay I love trying to get my sims to run around all the different worlds and trying to find all the different metals and fossils and just I love playing with the collections in my game but where I know how difficult it is to actually come by all the different elements in the game, in total, I think there's 16, I wanted to display them in this build. And so right behind the little checking desk in this museum, I basically sized up these tiny little elements and made them into kind of like a, a wall decoration. I put them in kind of like a staircase formation going up to the top. There is 15 in total in the actual like wall decoration that I created. And then there was one left over because for like the staircase decoration that I wanted to create, there was just an extra one. And so that's when I had the idea, well, why not display the one that your Sims can actually find in the world of 6am and put it into it kind of like a little separate display cabinet filled with all these different landscaping items that your Sims would also find in the world of 6am. I feel like I'm talking a bit of gibberish here, but if you're not familiar with what 6am is, it is actually the word Maxis backwards, you know, Maxis, EA, Electronic Arts, whatnot. 6am is the alien world in The Sims 4. So when I'm saying the planet of 6am or your Sims can find in 6am, 6am is the alien world in the game. And so over here, you can see that I'm placing down all of these quite strange looking plants and rocks and just roots and just stuff that aren't exactly landscaping items that you're going to see in your normal like suburban kind of world they're all from the alien planet which is 6am but i had the idea to get this leftover element that wouldn't have fitted into this kind of like wall decoration that i created it's actually the one element that your sims can find in that kind of like 6 army world i place it down into this little alien display and i was so proud of this idea so then i decided to do not the same thing upstairs but something similar but instead of having like an element in the middle i placed down kind of like robots in a liquid tube which sounds weird but you'll see what i mean when we move into the upstairs but also in the entrance to the build we have a few different benches that your sims can sit on i did like move objects some like lunch boxes and bags and also headphones which you're gonna see me also place down into this room onto these side tables but you're gonna see a lot of headphones in this build because i was thinking you know when you go to a museum sometimes you go around the museum with like a tour guide sometimes you go on your own or sometimes you do have the option to have like little headphones with audiobooks telling you about the museum i placed down a ton of these different headphones in this build because i was thinking well in the game you don't have tour guides in museums, unfortunately. I don't know if there's a mod out there for that, but your sims will just go to the museum and they'll just do what they like. I want your sims to be able to at least feel like they can learn a little bit of history about what is in the museum. And so I placed down a ton of these different headphones and I was thinking that they're like audio books or something. So I placed down a bunch of them into both this room all the other rooms but then also in kind of like the little front entrance hallway into the build also placed down like business cards and like the odd pen here and there and just i tried to make it feel like an actual receptionist area for this build where your sims would like come in buy their tickets to explore the museum and then you know go about their day but then you'd quickly just see me do this first initial hallway which goes into the rocket room if you want to put it that way but on the little side tables i placed down these I think you say geode, ge oh, I don't know how you say it, but they're basically things that your sims can find in the alien world, the planet of 6am, also you can find them dotted around the science lab, but they're these kind of like polished rocks, or like, actually no, they're rocks, and then your sims can get them polished, and they glow in the dark, I place down a ton of them on display, there also ends up being a ton of them also in the, the little gift room that I was talking about, like the gift shop, but currently, as you can see, I'm just going around and doing it this rocket room, I am so happy with the way this room turned out because when I came in and I was building it, I was thinking that your sims could one come here and just 
come here on their own as a single sim, they don't have to interact with anyone. But then when I was doing it, I was also thinking about the scenario of, okay, well, what about if your sims want to come here or maybe like a, a day out or like a school trip or something? I want it to seem like your sims can be taught about rocket science. And so I placed down kind of like this little bookcase thing at the front by the front doors into this room also placed down a ton of different bathrobes which i imagine was like lab coats or something i got them in a white swatch but i placed down all these different shoes into that these little cubicles because i was thinking when your sims come into this room they have to wear like a certain outfit or something they don't it was just something that i thought would be quite nice for like just decoration but i'm really happy with this room it kind of looks like your sims could come in here and they can be taught all about rocket science but then also on the same token they can literally explore space in this room. It's quite an interesting room, I, I think, anyway. But I do want to mention, which I am a little bit gutted about, but there is a silver lining to it. So the rocket ship that my sim built took her, bless her, it took her ages to build that. When you download this build from the gallery, the rocket ship won't actually be there because for some reason you can't upload a lot onto the gallery that contains a rocket ship and the rocket ship won't be able to transfer through the gallery i don't know why it's very annoying and i was a little bit gutted initially when i realized this but the silver lining is at least now when you actually come to the museum instead of having just like a rocket ship that your sims can go and explore your sims could come to the museum and they can actually physically build the rocket ship themselves and then they can explore it so in that way it's kind of like a little bit more a little bit more rewarding I'm not gonna lie, I was initially really quite gutted about that. But I mean, it is a silver lining because in that way your sims can actually improve their rocket skill and then it's a little bit more of a nicer achievement when your sims can finally explore space, which I still don't know how the physics work in this build for the fact of there is a ceiling above the rocket ship and your sims, they can explore space. So I have fully play tested this whole entire build everything works absolutely fine i didn't run into a single problem which is absolutely amazing because i was worried that i might run into a few different like issues here and there but no it works absolutely fine 100 percent, all completely play tested and completely usable and somehow your sims can fly through the ceiling in a rocket but i still can't put a telescope into a kid's bedroom and get them to look out onto the sky don't know how the physics works in sims 4 but either way moving on as you can see i did a little separate room off the rocket space room which ends up being at the invention device room so it was that big kind of like circular thing it's basically a robot and if your sims are scientists they can come here off hours you know when they're not clocking in into work and they can invent the freeze ray they can invent the cloning machine they can also invent like hover lamps and like all these different devices they can invent them on that machine i felt like it was very necessary to have that in this build because the thing is if say for instance you've got a scientist sim and they love science they love everything about it and you want them to have like a breakthrough to get like a new idea for like a new device you have to wait till they go to work and the thing is as well which i absolutely love about active careers you go to work for your sim but then on the downside after their work day is over they just instantly go home like you don't have the option to go home with them i think the only one career that you can just decide how late you want to go home with is the acting career but like the scientist career say if your sim wants to invent a device and they've only got half hour left on the clock then they're just going to go home and you you can't do anything about it and so i wanted to include the invention device in this build somewhere and so i made kind of like a little a separate room for it but then also next to that you would have seen me do kind of like a, a science labs bits and bobs room i don't really know what to class it as i placed on the absolutely massive microscope into that room which was so big it pretty much took up a whole entire wall of just that one room it is just so it's just huge like, i don't understand why the sims team have this thing of making normal objects a normal size in real life massive in the game like it makes no sense to me i really hope one day we get an updated microscope that's a little bit smaller that we could put onto like desks or counters because think about like if you've got a kid in your game and they absolutely live and breathe science like they love science they want to be a scientist when they grow up what about if they wanted to have like a little microscope in their room they can if they live in a mansion and they've got a lot of money because one the microscope is quite a lot of money it's quite it's quite spendy but then also it's just it's really unrealistic to be able to put into a kid's room i really hope we get like an updated item that is a bit of a smaller microscope you know how we've got the telescope which is now something that you can actually put into your sims back garden because now we've finally got a smaller version of it i really hope they do a similar kind of thing with a microscope but either way i placed down the microscope into that room there is also a few different 
desks and computers on them. I was debating putting down, you know, the little chemistry lab thing, which I think we got from either Get to Work or it could potentially be a base game, but your Sims can basically experiment on this little chemistry lab. I was debating putting it down into that room, but I just, when I placed it down, it just didn't seem like it, it fitted in with the room. Don't worry, it does end up being in the bill, but it's just upstairs. I just, I felt like computers would probably be a better use for the space into that room. That way, if your Sims maybe want to come to the science museum and for some reason they don't want to learn about science and they want to play, I don't know, Sim Scuffle or whatever the games are, they can still play it on the computer. They can still research stuff on the computers in that room. There also ends up being a cloning, a literal cloning machine into that room. If your Sims fancy cloning themselves, don't know why they would, but they can come to this science and space museum and do it in that room as well. Something that I wanna know with the cloning machine, when I was coming in and I was playtesting this build, I realized that when I initially pulled it out of the build and bycaster dog, it wasn't upgraded so your Sims can't actually explore space. And so I actually dragged it onto that little invention device that I was talking about in that separate room that device they can upgrade things they can make things but they can also upgrade the cloning machine so your sims can actually travel to the alien world i did start doing it and then i actually paused my game and i thought hang on why don't i leave it so then again it's another thing that your sims can do and then it's kind of like a a bigger achievement and so when you download this build if you do decide to you can upgrade that cloning machine and your sims can travel to the alien planet the alien world but then also in that room i think i finished it off by adding like a plant into the corner and then i think i also put the chemical analyzer in that room as well but now as you can see i've now moved on into the next room which is the gift shop <laughs> now this room was so much fun to film I'm not joking though, when I tell you, this took me like an hour and 20 minutes for this one room alone. Now the reason why it took me so long is because, you know, say you're looking for like a fossil in the debug menu and you've got the Better Build Buy mod installed where you can actually search for fossils or you could search for like postcards. Them kind of objects will have postcard or fossils in the name and so when it comes around to actually finding all these different, you know, like bits and bobs in, in the catalogue, it's quite easy to do so. But one thing that I wanted to include into this room was every single type of crystal in the game. But annoyingly, they're not categorised as crystals, that's not in the name. And so I had to go through and I had to search individually for every single one of these crystals, all the individual names, and just try and find them in the build and buy catalogue. It took me so long, I obviously had to cut it out. What I did is I basically spent forever and a day putting them all out, putting them all onto the floor and then I like put them into my household inventory because when I was building this, you can you can notice, I've actually built it to be a residential initially just because of the rocket ship where I couldn't put like a, a room onto the lot and they already have like a pre-made rocket. I decided that I was going to build it as a residential, but don't worry, it is a museum on the gallery. I've already uploaded it by the time you're seeing this. I've already saved a lot to my gallery. Like, it's already good to go. All we've got to do is just press share. And so it is a museum lock type. Don't worry about that. But when I was building this, I basically thought I'd save myself some time and then basically put all the different crystals into my household's pockets, basically. And then when it actually came around to putting it onto the shelving unit, that way I didn't have to search like emeralds and jets and rubies it was just all at my fingertips if you get what i mean but yeah this room it took me ages but it was so much fun because look at all the different crystals and fossils and elements it just it just looks so cool there is also a few different aliens just shoved into the back corner in this room as well which don't really know how realistic that's gonna be when i was placing them down i was thinking okay well jess this is literally aliens why are you placing it down into a gift shop i don't think it's very responsible for kids to be able to come to this shop and buy an alien but then i was thinking well what about if they're just fake what about if they're just kind of like decorations or something and so i thought yeah do not do it so I placed down some aliens into this room. There is also some Batu items, which I am, I've, I've mentioned this before, I have absolutely no idea about Star Wars. Like, I am not a Star Wars lover. I am not a Star Wars watcher. I, I ain't got a clue. It's just not my cup of tea. But if it's your cup of tea, then there is a few different Batu spaceships in this room because Star Wars, it's about space or like spacey kind of stuff. There's all these different spaceships and stuff. And so I placed down some spaceship models into this room. I thought it was quite fitting to be like a little little science museum. But then there is also a ton of different like space lamps and all these different like books. And I also placed down some teddy bears as well. The teddy bears that I placed down, again, they're from 
Batu. I think they're meant to be like a character of Star Wars. I ain't got a clue. I have literally played Journey to Batu once, and as someone, as a girl that has absolutely no idea with what's happening with Star Wars, I went to Batu, not a clue what was happening, exiting my game. And so I don't know what the little like cuddly toys are, but I was thinking when you go to somewhere like, say for example, a zoo. You'd go to the zoo gift shop and there'll be like penguins or there'll be like giraffe cuddly toys that you'd be able to buy. I wanted to do kind of like a similar idea with the cuddly toys in this gift shop. And so I placed some of them down onto the corner. I also placed down a ton of different like metals and stuff. I also placed down, you know them at school projects that kids bring home from school. I placed down, I think three of them into this room. I placed down, I think the science one or like the science one where your sims will actually like make planets, like stick balls onto sticks and then try and make it look like the solar system there is also i think the the chemical one where your sims like make like a volcano and i'm not sure what the other one was but i thought it was quite fitting for this room i also tried to make it look like at one point you can just about see it on like the cashier's desk your sims have just purchased a book so i placed down this grocery bag which is i think a base game item we got the grocery ability for your sims buy groceries with the cottage living expansion pack but i think the actual concept of your sims being able to order food to stock in the fridge is now a base game thing but basically when your sims will order food they'll have like a little grocer grocer gross grocery person i don't know what you call them you have like a little grocery person come to your sims front door and they'll de deliver you like this little grocery bag i basically wanted there to look like there was some sort of like gift bag in the gift shop and so i placed on the grocery bag but then i found a book which was just around about the similar kind of size of it and then i moved objects of book into the grocery bag so instead of it looking like the bag contains like fruits and vegetables and all these different like bits and pieces like that I made it look like it was a book and I thought that was quite a nice idea. Also tried to make it look like behind the cashier's desk it was an actual cashier's desk so I placed down like some signs, also placed down like a little broom and then I placed down like a cone so you know when you go to, I was about to say you know when you go to a community lot but I was referencing real life, you know when you go to a shop in real life and they might have just like mopped the floors or something and they'll have like a little wet wet floor sign, they'll have like a little cone like as a bit of a hazard, I placed down at some of them behind the little cashier's desk also place down a robot because i was going to place down a plant but i thought well when can i just place down a robot for purely decoration not really it's not really something that i can do that often so i thought as i am building a science museum i'll place down like a little a little servo robot into the corner also place down a skeleton into that room which i do want to mention i have since deleted not because it was a problem like it's like i said i play tested this whole entire build everything works but when i was play testing it the sims were weirdly obsessed with that skeleton and so when i was getting my sim to run around and playtest everything i kept on like looking at the gift shop and there was like 10 sims just staring at the skeleton and it was really bugging me and i thought that it might bug you and so i deleted the skeleton in the gift shop as well it was placed now next to kind of like a little clothing rack which i imagine it had like space related like stuff on it i imagine that the clothes maybe had like rocket ships and planets onto it but next to it i placed down the skeleton and it just seemed to be a bit of an anchor for your sims and they just they loved it for some reason but i thought it might be a bit annoying in gameplay so i did decide to delete it but anyway as you can see i've now moved on to the upstairs and i'm starting by doing this kind of like little I want to call it like a link. I mean, I say link, it's pretty much just like a fancy, a fancy way of saying hallway. It's a hallway, but it's also a bit of a link because it has all of these windows basically going around one area of the room and your sims can be standing upstairs and look at the people downstairs making the rockets or people from downstairs can look upstairs and see people in the hallway. It's kind of like a little, a little link, little science link. I don't know why I said link to be honest. It's just a hallway with windows in it. But I really liked it. But in that room, I placed down some wall decorations that we got from the Get Famous expansion pack. Now, you're probably thinking, why have you placed down costumes onto the wall? Hear me out. My idea was, what about if they're like space... I was about to say spaceship uniforms. What about if they're astronauts uniforms? Or maybe if they're like previous like maybe amazing sims have gone to space and done amazing things and they're their uniforms and they're displayed in the museum i thought that was a really nice idea and so i placed down two different wall decorations that okay they are just costumes but i'm imagining that they're like astronaut outfits or something i also placed down another wall decoration which again is from get famous but it looks like it's got a freeze ray in it or like a picture of a freeze ray i thought that was very fitting for that build and so i placed that down into the hallway also placed down a few different benches and stuff but now i've moved on into kind of like the 
the artsy bits and bobs kind of room. So when it comes around to building community lots in the game, you'll find that oftentimes they'll have like lot requirements. Say for example, you're building like a, a karaoke bar. One of the lot requirements might be to have a karaoke machine. When it comes around to building museums, one of the lot requirements is to have an art easel. And so where I wanted this build to meet all the requirements and then more so than, you know, like have extra stuff, I thought, why not make like a little art room? And so that is basically what this room ends up being. It ends up having three art easels, also ends up having a woodworking table and that chemistry lab that I was talking about, which to be honest, probably isn't the best suiting activity wise thing to place into that room because you've got art easels you've got a woodworking table and then you've got someone in the corner trying to be a scientist it doesn't really make that much sense but like i said downstairs i just couldn't manage to fit in that chemistry lab and i wanted to have it in the build somewhere and so i did decide to place it down into that room but you might have noticed there is a lot of windows in the little art room and that is because on the exterior if you were to look at it it's basically just a glass cube. I place floor to ceiling windows in that room, which if you're curious, by the way, the ones that I used aren't from base game. They're from the Snowy Escape expansion pack. I used a mixture of square windows and then kind of like skinnier, more rectangular windows, plopped them all together. And then on the ceiling, I made it so it's one massive skylight. The skylight item that I used, it's from the Island Living expansion pack. You're meant to place it onto like decks above water so your sims can like see the water beneath them, but you can also place them onto roofs and make a little skylight and so that's what I did into that room there is so much light that comes into that room but at least if your sims an artist they're not going to have a problem seeing out the window and trying to paint from reference and so yeah I placed them down into that room but now as you can see I have now quickly moved over and done the bathrooms there is only one bathroom in this dot and it has three toilets in it which initially I wanted to have a few more toilets in that but to be honest I wasn't it wasn't the worst thing in the world because directly opposite this little science lab in the actual world of Oasis Springs, there is some like community toilets anyway. And so if your sim needs a wee and all the loos are taken, there is somewhere for your sims to go anyway. But then you would quickly just see me do kind of like the, the kids portion of this build. I really wanted this build to be accessible for every single member of your sims family. Like I wanted it to be like, if say for instance, your sims, they've got a kid, absolutely love space, for their birthday they want to go to the space and science museum but you can't get the childcare, and so you have to bring all members of the family i wanted your sims to be able to bring every single member and every single member of the sims family to have something to do and so into the little like kids room that ends up being a doll's house a teddy bear the science table because it's just it's very fitting for science stuff it also ends up being like a little drawing table in there as well just basically like a space where say for instance your sims have got their kid and they love space and they love science and they're downstairs looking at the rocket ship then maybe one of the parents could be upstairs with the toddler playing in like that little kid's space there is also a potty as well by the way which i feel like i should mention the potty is just in the bathroom it's not in the in the kids playroom but now as you can see i've now moved on into the next room which is kind of like a little a little dedicated alien space this room ends up being so cool i think i basically changed the lights in maybe like a minute or two you're going to see that i'm going to change the lights and it's going to end up being very blue in here but i want it to feel very like alieny very like spacey very scientific -y. i'm using all these different words that aren't even actually english but i wanted it to feel a little bit like the alien world in here and so but i also wanted it to be a museum so i wanted it to have like a little bit of like normal stuff but in here you can see that i basically pulled out these kind of liquid tubes they're kind of like oh, i don't even know what you basically in real life in well, i say in real life i've only seen it in films but in like science films like sci-fi films you often see these kind of things in science labs and you'll see all these like weird aliens and all these different like maybe even sometimes people in these kind of things. We got them with the get to work expansion pack and I wanted to place them down into this field somewhere and I thought what better room to place them down into rather than an alien room. And so what I did is I placed them down into the corners and then I made it so it was kind of like in little separate space and there's some windows in front of them. This was also partially inspired by downstairs. You know, in like the front little entrance hallway where I had like that little alien bit ends up being very similar to this. But instead of having like an element like I did downstairs, I placed down robots <laughs> into these kind of like liquid tubes. I thought it was a really cool idea and yeah, I was, quite, I was quite proud of that one, but I basically did a very similar thing in this space, in like the actual, like the little display area of what I did downstairs. So I placed down all these different rocks and all these like really interesting coloured like ferns and roots and just 
stuff that I feel like you might find if you ever get your sims to go to the alien world of Six Sam. Also place down some of these kind of like roots that are meant to be, you know, Strangerville. I don't want to spoil it, but you know um, what stuff happens in that world and there is stuff growing in that world. I placed down at some of the roots that you can find in the world of Strangerville into the little sciencey kind of like cubicles for the aliens as well, because I was really stuck on what to do in terms of how to decorate the walls inside these little displays. And so I thought placing down these little roots might be might be like a nice little idea but you can see that i also placed down some shelving units in between the two displays and on them displays i placed down loads of different aliens some are dead some are alive but you'll notice if you actually get your sims to travel here in gameplay like you get them to go upstairs into this room that the ones that are alive are the ones that are on the second shelf so you know like the more rectangular kind of like aliens then ones they're alive and in gameplay they blink, which I thought was quite a nice little nice little detail, but I placed them down to the shelving units as it is an alien room. We've of course got to have actual aliens in the game, which we have actually got aliens in the sense of like, we have got an occult, a life stage where your Sims can literally be an alien, but this is more so meant to be, I think like alien insects that your Sims will find in the world of Six Sam or like the alien world. So I placed them down into here, also placed down, and I also placed these down throughout the build, but I placed down these little signposts, which are from Get Together. And I was thinking that in front of the displays, they probably tell you about what is being on display. So say, for example, in front of the aliens, I placed them down. Maybe it's saying about the aliens and where they were discovered and a little bit more information about them. But now I'm moving on into the last room, which is pretty much just like a, a painting and sculpture room. To be honest, this is probably the most stereotypical room for a museum, but I felt like it was very necessary. Normally when you travel to a museum, both in the game and in real life, it's basically just a space that is just filled with loads of different paintings, probably got a few benches in the middle of the room and then it maybe has like a few sculptures. That is normally what museums are like. But like I said at the start of this video, I didn't want to just build a museum because getting your sims just to travel here and just look at a few paintings can be quite boring and it's just, I personally think it's not worth going for a loan screen. And so I wanted to make this whole entire space this whole entire build just filled with loads of different activities and loads of different fun bits and bobs but then I also still wanted there to be you know the, the museum part of it and so I dedicated this room to basically being that <laughs> so this is like the most stereotypical museum -y room ends up having some space prints on the walls also ends up having an absolutely massive rocket in front of the big windows but it's kind of like the display at the front of the build but I'm going to go around the room finish it off and that is basically it so anyway guys I'm going to end this voiceover right here as always you can download this build via the gallery my origin id is jessicapiyt or if you search for the hashtag jessicapiyt or just the hashtag jessicapiyt as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, if you do like my content, then please do subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in my next Sims 4 speedboarding video. Bye, guys.